Hi hey friends, today we are going to draw a perspective road drawing. Now we've learned in class that perspective is when if it looks something looks like it's going back in space and we have one point perspective and two point perspective which we've discussed. This is going to be a simple one point perspective road drawing and uh, what we're going to do first is, I'm going to do this with pencil. I hope we can see the lines. We'll go back over it with marker in a minute, but we're gonna have to erase some things. We're gonna draw the horizon line. The horizon line is where the sky meets the ground, okay? It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It can be slightly curved like it's a hill or it can be straight, that's up to you. Next, what we're going to do is we're gonna do the vanishing point. It's gonna be a tiny little dot that you can see, but it's not very, gonna be very noticeable. I'm gonna make mine a little bigger then you normally would draw a vanishing point just so you can see it in the video, okay? But you want that to be tiny where you can see it, but it's not going to be very noticeable to anyone else so you can easily erase it. Now, this is the dot that everything is gonna line up to in your picture to make it look like it's going back in space. Next, what we're going to do is we're gonna draw the road. We're going to draw like a triangular shape coming from this vanishing point down. We don't want it to go up into the sky because the road does not drive into the sky and to the clouds. We want it to stop right here because this is sky, this is ground, okay? So we're going to start right here at the dot and we're gonna do, and if you have a ruler, this is the time to break out the ruler. I don't have a ruler right here next to me, but this is when you would break out the ruler, lay your ruler down to draw your straight edge, okay? I got my watercolor set here, but I'm just gonna freehand it, but if you have a ruler, this is a good time to break it out. But I'm gonna do a diagonal line down going this way. And a diagonal line going down going this way. This is gonna look like your road, okay? Now if you want like edging around the road, like the white line that's painted on the edge of the road, you can go back in and draw another line coming down this way and another line coming down this way, but that's not something you have to do. Now we have our road, okay? Notice it stops at the hill. It doesn't go into the sky. It looks like it just goes over the hill and then it goes off and vanishes over the hill. So that's our vanishing point where it vanishes over the hill. Now we're gonna draw the little dashed lines in the middle of the road. I'm gonna start with it small where it looks like it's farther away. And then as it gets closer to me, those lines are gonna get a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. Now I'm drawing tiny skinny little rectangles from the dashed lines in the middle of my road so that I can go back in and color these in yellow when I get done, but you can make them just lines with your pencil and that will be completely fine. And then you can go back over it and outline it with a marker so it shows up better when you're done. Okay, so we have the dash lines going down. Notice they start small when they're far away and the closer they get to you, the longer they get, okay? Next, we're going to do uh, some telephone poles on this side of the road. Now, we want half of the telephone pole to be above the horizon line and half of the telephone pole to be below the horizon line. So watch what I'm talking about. Far away, it's gonna look itty bitty. We've learned in class when it's in the foreground, it looks big, foreground, big. Middle ground, a little smaller. Background, itty bitty. Okay, so we've learned those things in class. So right here in the background, right next to where the road goes over the hill, right next to the vanishing point, I'm gonna draw just a short line where half is above the uh, horizon line and half is below the horizon line. Just like if the telephone pole had a belly button, it would cut it right across the belly button right there. Okay, we want it half above and half below. Notice it is straight. Notice that my telephone pole is not laying down like this. Okay, we don't want them to be laying down. We don't want it to look like a tornado has hit our telephone poles. We want it to be straight up and down, half above, half below. To make this look more like a telephone pole, I'm gonna do two cross lines across the top. So you can see it looks like a telephone pole. Now I'm gonna move down a little bit. I want my line to be a little longer. I'm gonna make it half above, half above 
the uh, horizon line half below the horizon line. We're just keeping this simple. There are tricks that I can teach you later where you can draw a big X through your paper to keep everything on line with the vanishing point. But if you draw half above and half below, it's gonna look right. Keep it a little bit simpler today. All right, then we're gonna go line across, line across, look like a telephone pole, okay? So notice this one's farther away in the background, so it's smaller. This one's coming closer to the middle ground, so it's getting larger. So this one that's gonna be in our middle ground is gonna be even larger. So I want it to start up here. I want half above. And half below. Half above my uh, horizon line, half below, okay? Then I'm gonna do the two cross lines. Okay. Our last one is going to be very tall because it is in the foreground. It is standing next to us. If we're the viewer that is sitting in the car or walking down the street, this telephone pole is very close to us. So we want it to be taller than the one that we just drew. It's going to be half above the horizon line. So here's the horizon line. Pretend this is cut in the middle. So we want it to be this much on the bottom too, so it needs to end about right here, okay? So if it's this much above, it's about this much below. So we're gonna bring it all the way down to here. This is when you can break out your rulers, draw straight lines if you want. And then we're gonna do two lines across to look like a telephone pole. Okay, now we have telephone poles that look like they're going back in the distance. We have our foreground up close, so it looks bigger. Our middle ground, a little farther away, looks a little smaller, and our background, which looks far away. Now, to make this even look more like telephone poles, we're gonna go from our vanishing point, because that's where it's gonna go over the hill. We're gonna take our, connect the wires from our vanishing point to the first telephone pole. Then we're gonna take this one and this one and connect it with two wires. It's just arched line, arched line. Then we're gonna go from here to here arched line, arched line, okay? And we're gonna go from here to here, arched line, arched line, and then from here to the side of the paper, because we're pretending there's more telephone poles off in the distance, arched line, arched line, okay? Gives that illusion that it keeps on going, okay? Now we could do this exact same thing on this side, or we could draw trees on this side, or buildings on this side, I'm just gonna draw trees today because we've learned how to draw trees so many times in the past. So we're gonna start by doing a small tree, two lines up. Where that uh, horizon line cuts that tree in the middle, we're gonna erase it right there. Then I'm gonna do like a letter Y going up like that, like our little letter Y tree and a fluffy top. And so we have our tree that's kind of off in the distance. Then closer to us, notice it's half above, half below. Closer to us in the middle ground, we're gonna do another tree. We want it to be about half below the horizon line and about half above. Kinda looks like a letter Y erase where it has this. Remember, if Miss Hoffman's working too fast, pause me. And just do a fluffy top. Of course, if you want to do fancier trees in this, you guys have learned how to do trees in class. You can go break out your fancy tree, tree drawing skills. All right, and then the one that's going to be closest to us in the foreground, add some tree roots to that. The one that's closest to us in the foreground over here, we want it to be half above, half below. If it comes off the edge of the paper a little bit, that's okay. Just gives the illusion that you can see more over there. Half above, half below, give it a little bit of tree roots. Okay, now, since this one is in the foreground, we're going to have to overlap this tree 
to this tree. We've talked about overlapping in class. If this one's in front, it might cover up part of this tree. You might not be able to see this whole tree because this one is in front of it. Okay, so you see the overlapping here. All right, now this is the fun part where you add in any details that you want. Do I want this to be fall time? And do I want to have some pumpkins sitting under the trees and kind of placed around? Is this springtime? Do I want flowers around the trees? Are, is there a scarecrow hanging out right here next to the road? Are there little flowers blooming? Is there a little bird sitting on the top of this uh, telephone pole. If there's a bird back here, it's gonna look like a little polka dot. Are there apples on the trees? Are we driving into an apple orchard? Or is this winter and there's no leaves at all? So I want you to kind of decide the season, add details, add whatever you want, put clouds in the sky if you want, add birds flying through the sky. Some may be closer than others. Think about your foreground, middle ground, background. Go back in and erase that vanishing point because no one should be able to see that except for you. Decide if this is sunset or daytime or nighttime. I'm gonna have mine being sunset with the sun setting behind. I could go back in and color this with reds and oranges and yellows in the sky. And we have a nice road drawing in perspective with very little effort. And you can show this to people and they'll be so impressed with your art skills and you don't have to tell them it was easy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Bye guys.